Welcome back to Colorado Christian University and this month's edition of the RMAC Showcase. Kind of the first time I've really like thought of death. I don't think anyone would disagree with the fact that the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference is the best track and field conference in the country. And the athletes who participate in this conference are only made stronger because of that competition. But none are as strong as Anders Hansen, whose opponent is bigger than anything the conference ever could have thrown his way. Right off the gun, he was just wanted to compete, and he viewed himself as a, as a contender and someone that could perform at a very high level. And at that time, we really needed that in our guys' program. And he was just in prime shape, best shape we've ever seen out of a freshman in our program. Tuesday night, and uh, I walked out of my uh, bathroom, and my uh, roommate was also my teammate. And I remember walking out of the bathroom and being like, dude, what is on my chest? Like, I'm breaking out in this rash, it's kind of weird. And... I met up with my brother and his wife uh, at the airport in California, and uh, we took an Uber to the hotel. And in the Uber, I was <laughs> Googling symptoms of a heart attack. Uh, there was just so much pressure on my heart. Um, didn't really know what was going on with that. Other than that, again, the rash is just still spreading. And so again, they sent me home. Um, and so we were, we were staying at my aunt and uncle's house uh, in California. And um, I remember just waking up and just feeling so miserable. And so we went back to the hotel and like, my mom was like adamant, like, you've got to like keep my kid here. He is not right. And that's when I just started to get a ton of different doctors on my case. Um, again, a lot of different symptoms started to flare up now. Um, I was borderline septic uh, going into the hospital too. Every day in the hospital, it just started to get worse and worse. It was really hard. And like I actually found out he was sick from my dad just texting me like, hey, Andrews is in the hospital. It sounds pretty serious. my eyes. I was basically a blind kid around the hospital. All the lights were off, just covering my eyes, didn't use my phone, um, no TV and stuff, so I just kept my eyes shut. They were just bloodshot red. My hearing started to go uh, really bad in my ears from the mucosa. My hands and feet started peeling. Uh, my body like just peeled like a snake. I actually didn't get to talk to him at all when he was in the hospital. I think he might have sent me one text or maybe, but mostly it was just like through his parents. We're on day eight and a rheumatologist comes into the room and uh, she looks at me for a couple minutes. She wasn't in the room more than five minutes, asked me two or three questions, um, leaves the room and comes back in a few minutes later and says, you have Kawasaki disease. It was really hard, but I think ultimately I'm just really thankful that he was in California with his family. It was really difficult, but I knew he was in like the best hands possible and had great doctors out there and just being with his whole family was really good. His eyes were kind of foggy and he couldn't hear that well, so it was kind of scary to see him like that and just not really be able to recognize him. When he was sick, it was just hard to not be able to like support him and like be there in person. But yeah, I think it's made our relationship just a lot stronger knowing that like no matter what happens, like sickness or health, like we're gonna be there and take care of each other with whatever comes up in life. Glad to see Anders is doing well and wish both him and his wife the best in the future. Well, I mentioned the stiff competition around the conference. If you can be towards the top of the RMAC, you can seriously take pride in that. Carly Schwarzkopf joins us for the first time as she sits down with one of the Cougars' top distance athletes. Mandy Middleton has no problem handling adversity. From joining a program with no track to becoming CCU's top distance runner. A small school with room to grow was a perfect combination for Mandy Middleton as she was looking for colleges to attend. 
I loved the team. Um, I loved CCU like as a small school. One of the things that I knew that I didn't want to do was go um, like to a really large D1 and either get lost in the mix of athletes or um, it was really important to me that for my major, I'm a biochem major, um, it was really important to me that I didn't have to go sit through a class of like 600 people for intro to chem. Another aspect she liked was the opportunity to be a building block for a new program as the Cougars had just announced a brand new track and field team. I think that that's something that I definitely would have still chosen either way. Um, I would have much rather been part of a program that has a lot of room to go grow um, than just a program that has a very high level of like awards and ceremonies. And she has helped grow the program, something head track and cross country coach John Pogue knows would have been much more difficult without the addition of Middleton. Um, but she's just an important personality for our program because she's so competitive. So when I came into the program, uh, there were some good runners around, but very few had the competitive edge and instinct that Mandy's brought to our team. That drive helped Middleton stand out as she earned the right to represent CCU at last year's National Cross Country Meet, the first Cougar to make nationals since 2013. I, th I think with, with all athletes trying to perform at a high level, you have to have a, a built-in sense of confidence. And certainly as coaches, we're trying to, to help kids ascend to that confidence during their time here. But Mandy showed up with it. You know, there is a belief in her and a backbone to her that is really, it'd be hard to coach. She just showed up with it. That confidence allows her to talk openly about the fact that she's easily picked out of a crowd for another reason, alopecia, an autoimmune disease that causes all of someone's hair to fall out. It's really easy to pick me out of a crowd, which is awesome, especially like on a national level field, like cross country. It's very easy to like stand up at the top and be like, ah, oh, there's my daughter, there's my runner, um, which is fun. Um, but I think just representing CCU and what CCU stands for and um, the sportsmanship that we strive for and like trying to love other people well even when we're competing against them, um, I think like for me that's something I'm much more proud of to be able to like compete at a national level and be able to compete with CCU on my jersey than um, be up there as like the only bald runner in the field. I've very frequently had a lot of people like think I've had cancer or dying which is always hilarious and they're like, you just won that race and like going through chemo and I'm like, no, 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 I'm okay. She's more than okay, as Middleton's name can be seen all over CCU's record books in both cross country and track and field. With the RMAC Showcase, I'm Carly Schwartzkopf. Thank you, Carly. The NCAA Outdoor National Championships take place May 23rd through the 25th. Well, that brings us to halftime on this edition of the RMAC Showcase. When we come back, a volleyball star who is also mighty with the pen. Don't go anywhere.